Your favorite shrub. We haven't talked about shrubs at all, but you have to pick one of your favorites for Whitetail Habitat. I'm gonna go with, I've got three. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite and then your, your two honorable mentions. All right, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm just gonna go with wild plum just because it's harder for the deer to kill and it provides great cover. It spreads through the root systems. So it'll pop up over here, it'll sucker over there. So it spreads, it's very hard to kill. So I like that. And then it pr provides a fruit for all the critters, all the critters to eat. That's a favorite and deer don't mess with it. So I'd say that's number one. And then number two and three are hazelnut and dogwood. And I could go Radozier dogwood, whatever. I mean, silky gray. The problem with hazelnut and the dogwood they are like candy. The deer will eat them down, they munch them. And you go, where do I see, naturally, where do I see hazelnut? And where do I see the dogwoods? You're usually gonna see them in the road ditches and you're gonna see them in these dense fence lines. Why is that? It's where the deer are not messing with them. Mm. You go plant dogwoods in the center of your farm, they're gonna get hit. So do you, they're gonna do you get suggest a tube them? Not really tube them because, you know, you be they're meant to come out Shallow, I mean, it's a shrub. Yeah. I suppose you could tube them. The best way to probably do it would be to do the cheapest way you could build a little cage around them. And if somebody said, well, I want to do it large scale, like an acre, then again, like I said in the beginning, there's a million ways to skin this cat. There really is. Somebody could say, well, for food plots, we build an electric fence for our beans because they get wiped out. Okay. Build an electric fence, make it more permanent. And you know, a double layer electric fence and put your shrubs in there and give them a few years and keep the deer out of there. Now, I've gone out through my farm and taken down old woven wire because I didn't have any money when I bought my first farm. And I made my own posts out of like a uh, hedge or like chopping down trees and throw them in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Black locust or hedge. And then I grab all the T posts and then I do two wires of uh, two layers of woven wire. And I'd encircle like a half acre or an acre area. And it took me a day, but I'd get the materials for free around the farm if, if you can. And, and then nothing can get in there. You're like, but that doesn't help my deer right now. No, it's, it's a process. It's going to take some time, but at least they can live because mm -hmm. 90% of the time, Hey, I'm just going to put them in the ground and then they get eaten to the dirt. Yeah. And, and dogwoods and hazelnut and several other shrubs are like, oh my goodness, the brows that they get hit with. It's crazy. It's cool because you're like, they really like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the survival uh, is very tough if they're not protected at, at some level. And somebody could go, well, he just mentioned a few things. Come up with your, there's a million what ways to do What about a shorter tube so they can still bush out, but they still don't that get into to the too. ground? That would get, but again, you're still, you're still like, well, when they pop out of that tube... <laughs> And that tube's two foot off the ground. Let's say it's two That's feet. That's what I did. And they're all just like, mowed down right at the very top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll just keep, it'll, they'll get a haircut yeah. every time they pop back there. So you have to uh, add something to it. And here's a, here's a cheap one we've done. As I went around my farm and I pulled T-posts out because all the cattle got booted. It's, it's a really sad thing. I booted all the cattle. <laughs> and so there's T-posts all over. So I just collected all the T-posts free, just my labor. And then my shrubs or whatever, I just went and bought a roll of woven wire and I'd push it out and I'd cut a section. So, you know, it's maybe, I don't know, three foot in diameter, whatever it is, three, four foot in diameter. And I just tie it up. I put a T post in and I just make a cage around that little shrub or tree or whatever. And I would rather see somebody do that and be like, well, uh, I only did, because of that, it's more work, I only did 25 shrubs or 50 shrubs or 100 versus, no, I'm going to do 2,000 shrubs and I'm not going to protect them at all. I'd rather do less and protect them than more and not protect them because even several thousand, they're probably still going to get killed. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they're going to be killed. So just protect them. Okay. Some good insight in there. Okay. So uh, wild plum, hazelnut, and dogwood. Why do you like yep. uh, why do you like the hazelnut? Just real quick and then we'll move on. The the deer like the the shrubs themselves. They'll nip on them and, and browse them. And then the hazelnuts are delicious for critters and for you if you want to eat them. Human They're really good. Okay. All right. So And they make good cover and all yeah. these things. Great cover. I mean, you look at it like, hey, that's really thick, brushy stuff. Man, looks like awesome deer cover. Yeah, that's shrubs. I mean, shrubs are fantastic deer cover too. Mm -hmm. 